Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you all you need to know to successfully install Cubes OS on a PC. So I'm gonna show you from where to get Cubes OS, how to put it on a USB drive and also I'm gonna tell you what are the hardware requirements, what you need to set up in the PC's BIOS and what option from Cubes OS installation you need to choose so that to increase your chances of a successful installation. And then I'm gonna show you some post-installation steps and we'll be browsing the internet to test Cubes OS. So let me start first by showing you how to download Cubes OS the most secure way. The best way to preserve your anonymity when you download Cubes OS is to use the Tor browser. You can also download it with other browsers, but all the actions you perform in other browsers can be traced back to you. If you don't have Tor browser installed on your PC, I've made a video showing you how to install it. You can look up this video in the description below. So here I'm going to start the Tor browser and in the browser key in cubes-os.org and when it opens in Tor browser, click on the onion circuit to also be more secure and now click on downloads on the top and scroll and you have here all these options. For this video, we're gonna download the ISO from Cubes here. At the time of this video, Cubes OS is at release 4.2.4, but the instructions I'm gonna show you in this video will apply also to other versions of Cubes OS. So let's click here to download it. It is a pretty big download. I'm gonna choose save file, and I'm gonna choose to download it in the downloads folder. The next step is to put the downloaded ISO file on a USB drive using a free software called Rufus. Choose a USB drive that is fast, like this SanDisk Extreme Pro. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out. And I'm gonna insert it now in the PC and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Open a new tab and go to this side to download Rufus, rufus.ie and scroll until you find download. So this is under download. Choose the latest version of Rufus and then download the first one on the list. So let's save it. And while it is being saved, I wanted to tell you that here I'm using a Windows 11 PC and the instructions I'm showing you only apply to Windows 10 and Windows 11. So now Rufus is downloaded. We need to launch Rufus. So here you find it. So let's open it. And here it's gonna ask you to allow it to run. Just click on yes to allow it to run. And here's Rufus. So it will detect automatically the USB drive that is in your PC. I wanted to let you know that all the information that is on the USB drive will be permanently deleted. So make sure that you are using a USB drive that you don't need the data that is on it. And also if you have multiple USB drives that are connected to your PC, make sure to select the right one because as I said, everything on it will be deleted. So here the USB drive for me, it is selected. We need to click on select near the boot selection disk or ISO image. So click on it and here choose the Cubes OS ISO that we downloaded it before and then click on open. Make sure all the information are by default don't change anything and then click on start. We need to choose right in DD image mode and then click on OK. And this is a warning telling you that everything on the drive will be deleted. So once again, make sure that you don't need any information on the drive and then click OK. And here, because I have multiple partitions on this drive, it is giving me another warning. I just want to delete everything on it. You might be prompted to download latest files from Rufus to be able to write this USB drive. If you are prompted for this, also click on yes. And now the USB drive is ready. Click on close and let's take the USB drive and switch to the other PC to install Cubes OS. This is USB drive. I'm gonna insert it in the PC. But before installing Cubes OS, I wanna tell you about the recommended hardware according to Cubes OS website. So they recommend an Intel CPU that is fairly recent with integrated GPU, they say that Cubes OS will run on AMD CPU, but due to inconsistent security support on client platforms, and here I am quoting the Cubes OS website, they do not recommend AMD CPUs. Also, they recommend that you have 16 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Also for the GPU, they don't recommend Nvidia or AMD GPUs because it is not certified to work on these GPUs. Now I want to show you how to prepare the BIOS of the PC before installing Cubes OS because there are a couple of tweaks that you need to do. 
So I'm going to turn on my Dell PC and I'm going to enter the BIOS. The Dell PC needs the Dell key to enter the BIOS. So you need to find out what is the key that will take you to the BIOS of your PC. So in the BIOS of the PC, go to virtualization support and then click on virtualization and make sure that enable internal virtualization technology is selected and under VT for direct IO also make sure that VT for direct IO is enabled. Now we need to make sure that secure boot is disabled. So go to secure boot and then click on secure boot enable and make sure that it is unchecked. Now go to boot sequence and under boot sequence select the USB drive and put it the first. So here I'm gonna put my USB drive the first. Before going any further, please listen to this warning carefully. The installation's instructions I'm gonna show you in a bit will wipe everything on the internal hard drive of your PC. So make sure that you are using a hard drive that you don't need any information on before going any further. So now let's continue the installation. Now that we adjusted all the information in the BIOS, we need to save everything and then we need to exit the BIOS and let the PC restart from the USB drive. So here we're gonna save everything and let's click on exit and now the PC will restart and it will restart from the USB drive and here's the PC restarted from the USB drive and you see you have all these options. I advise you to use the last option which uses the latest kernel and this way you will maximize your chances to installing CubesOS successfully. So once you choose the last option, press on enter on your keyboard and just wait for the installation program to start. So now you need to choose your language. I'm going to keep it on English United States. When you choose your language, click on continue. And notice here that you have two options that are in red that you need to adjust before going any further. So click on system to choose the hard drive where you want to install Cubes OS. And here, because I have multiple hard drives, I have all these options. You might have only one hard drive. And here, please remember that the hard drive you're going to choose, it will be completely wiped. So here I'm gonna install it on this Kingston drive. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna click on free up space by removing all the partitions. So this is the option that will wipe the drive. So select it and then click on done on the upper left corner. Now CubesOS will ask you the password to encrypt the hard drive. So choose a very strong password and then you need to confirm it and make sure that you never forget this password. Otherwise you cannot access your CubesOS installation anymore. So now click on save passphrase and these are the options for the drive. So I'm going to select delete all and then I'm going to select reclaim space. So now wait for it. So now this option is valid. Now we need to create a user. So click on user creation and here I advise you never put your real name here in CubesOS. Put any name you want. So for me, I'm going to put W user. I'm not going to even put a full name here. And I'm going to put a very strong password and you need to confirm the password too. And when you're done, click on done. So now we are ready to install Cubes OS. So click on begin installation on the bottom right corner. And all you have to do here is wait for Cubes OS to be installed. Now the installation is finished. You need to click on reboot system and here's Cubes OS restarting. And by the way, I wanted also to tell you that it's better to connect your PC with a physical Ethernet connection so that you can get Internet access with the Cubes OS. And this is what I've done here. So you need to enter the disk password. And this is the password that we use to encrypt the disk. Enter it here and then press enter. And the disk will be unlocked and Cubes OS will continue restarting. So we still need to adjust some things so that to be able to use Cubes OS. So here you see that also you have a warning on Cubes OS. So you need to click on it to adjust it. So click on it and you need to choose here the options of Cubes OS. So here I'm going to add two options. The first one is to automatically accept USB mice because nowadays it's very hard to find a mouse that is not USB. And the second option is that I'm going to enable system and template updates over the Tor network. And once you finish, click on done. And now click on finish configuration on the bottom right corner. So now Cubes OS will apply the configurations that we just selected. So now the Cubes OS post installation setup is finished. And here it is inviting us to log in with our user. 
So remember, we created a user called W user. So I'm gonna put the password for this user and then hit enter. And on first start, CubesOS will set up automatically the Tor network. Just give it a couple of minutes to finish the setup by its own. And now CubesOS is ready to be used. I just wanna test it with some internet browsing. So I'm gonna click on the menu here and then I'm gonna choose under default Firefox. So this is the browser. I'm gonna go to my website, which is knowledgesharingtech.com. And here's the website and everything is working as expected. Always remember that any system is as secure as the way you use it. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I wanna thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.